this one is really great. You still get the same amount of juice that you're pretty much getting out of, or that we pretty much get out of our Omega Juicer. Out of power, so we're doing the manual juicer, which is really handy to have on hand for when you're camping, when you don't have power, or maybe when your power goes out at home. That way you can always have your celery juice. Yeah, so no excuses for not drinking your celery. So putting together the manual juicer, you're going to first take your base and the clamp, and you're going to want to attach it to your countertop. We don't have a countertop, so we attach it to this shelf. So you just want it to be able to clamp on to a surface so it doesn't move. So you're going to put it on, twist until it's really tight and secure. And then you're going to take this piece here and you're going to slide it on until it locks in and then this is where you want to turn it in from release over to lock. So then you just turn it over and then that won't move. Next you're going to take this piece and one of these guys you're going to put that on the end there and then this is going to go in the clear piece. So then you slide it in until it's all the way over and then you're going to take the green piece, the end piece, stick it on and then ready tidy it until it's tight. Next you're going to take the crank, slide that on and then twist until it's tight. You want to ensure that that is nice and tight before you juice. And then this piece, now you would think that it goes in the front here, but it does not. You want to make sure it's over here on the left hand side because the juice is going to come out at this end and that you want the juice to go in there. And then lastly, you'll want a bowl to catch the pulp. So you'll put out one of your bowls there. It will catch the pulp. And then you'll use this thing to help you push the celery in. And that's it. So I've got it all put together here. And then I have my celery all prepped. Prepped and ready to go. And then You'll just put one in, if they're small, you could put two in at a time. And then you start cranking. You start crunching up the celery. And then if you come look, you'll see that the, um, the pulp will come out the front. And then the juice will come down here. And you should still be drinking your celery juice even when you don't have power because you want to make sure you're knocking down the viruses, the bacteria, you want to push all of the bad fats out of your body, you want to rebuild your hydrochloric acid in your stomach. Um, so you don't want to miss a day of your celery juice. It also comes with this little pusher to help push the celery down. And then if it gets clogged, you just reverse it. Reverse it, and then go back. And then it helps push out the celery. And if it gets tiring on one arm, you can always switch and use your other arm. That way, you're balancing out the workout with both arms. This versus the Omega, which is a power juicer, it's great because it yields about the same amount of celery juice, so it's not like it's 
uh, making less juice. It does a really great job with getting all the juice out. It does take longer though, obviously, because you're doing it by hand. So I would say it takes me about 25 to 30 minutes to do 32 ounces of juice with the manual juicer. <laughs> okay, so it's not quite full, but when it's all the way full, it's about 16 ounces worth. Then when you pour, we like to use an extra strainer to get all the pulp out. And you want to make sure you kind of pour towards this corner here. If you go forward, you're going to lose a bunch of the juice. So just start pouring. Keep tilting towards that corner. And you've got some celery juice. <laughs> 